Hi guys. Uh, so in this session, we are going to see about uh, you know the differences between the Pega platform and the other existing technologies in the market. So we always do have a lot of questions going through our mind. I mean, like uh, the difference in the technologies. Like I mean, the, the Pega, as we know that it is a local platform, and if we take uh, other technologies in the market like Salesforce, even like Java, even like .NET or Python or whatever. So, you know, each and for each and every technology, they has some specific uh, kind of uh, specializations across the industries or domains, or, you know, they, they are expertise, expertise in different uh, specializations. So in this session, just I just want to make sure, like you know, you will understand the differences between Pega and non-Pega technologies in the market. Let's say, let's take an example of Java and .NET. Instead of going through, uh, you know, a lot of technologies. Okay, so let us begin our session. So what is the difference between Pega and the other platforms in the market? So this is our first query. So when we compare Pega with the other technology in the market so we have huge differences okay so first let us talk about pega so why pega is uh, you know having this robust uh, kind of architecture and everything so when compared with other technologies why it is being uh, preferred for, from most of the clients uh, in this current market so pega is basically it's a local platform that is the first advantage of pega it is a local platform. So local platform is all about, it's not something uh, like, you know, we, which will reduce the coding. You know, coding is there, but we are not going to code it manually. Like what we do in normal uh, programming languages like Java, .NET or Python or C or C++ or whatever. So normally in regular programming languages, we, we will type the syntax. Okay, in Java, let's say if you have some Java syntax, like we have to define a class, class name, and we have to define the main method, public static void main, and you know arguments. And inside of that, we have to declare the variables, and we have to create an object. Okay, so this is the process that normally we have, right? And there are a lot of constructors. There are a lot of uh, you know methods functions available for different programming languages then they can use so that's how you know you need to manually code in other languages other platforms rather than pega but in pega you need not to code anything manually you need not to write the syntax like system dot out dot print ln or you need not to write like public static word main or you need not to declare like you know int you know, int i is equal to 10, uh, semicolon, int, you know, uh, x is equal to 20, semicolon, and then add it. So you need not to write this, all this stuff, a manual uh, representation. So that whole thing is handled by Pega platform. The thing is, you need to configure the things. Okay, you already have predefined rules, rule types, which, are, which has been provided by Pega platform where we actually need to uh, create those rules and we need to configure them as, as per our requirement and as per our logics we have to write. So that's how, you know, the first advantage is in Pega, it's a low code platform. As a low code. Okay, whereas other programming languages, you know, they are like, we need to write syntax code 
which comprises lakhs of lines of code so that means basically what is the thing is so in pega if you want to write some logics on everything yes you can do it with the rules everything is in the form of rules in pega okay whatever we do that is through rules only but in normal conventional programming languages or platforms like java .NET, or python or whatever so they have programming process they have to define methods and variables declaration everything they have to do it manually so that may take some lakhs of lines of code okay to generate how many maybe we, we, we cannot even imagine some lakhs of lines of code for any application that it may take so that is the complexity but pega we don't have to do go with that complexity we don't we need not to write such kind of things by our own hands but the thing is system will generate that lags lags of code but we are not going to generate it system is going to generate here but here what happens is we have to write the code manually some lags of lines of code so what happens with this this can takes red i mean less time to build any logic or any application but in case of this we are writing manually since it takes a lot of time so that's how it is that is the first difference like why we are going with the pega platform as a local platform and uh, you know the other conventional programming language Okay, so this is the first difference. Okay, so Okay, so this is the first difference. And now coming to other difference that we have is, so this is the first difference, Pega local platform, which consists of, which generates less lines of code and where more normal programming language, it, it generates a lot of, some lakhs of lines of code, okay? And the coming to the other differences here, so uh, time, time factor. So time factor, if we take time factor, so if you want to develop some application, okay, if you want to develop some solution for any of the client, <laughs> all right? So in that scenario, normally if we develop the application using Java or .NET or PHP or whatever, so if let's say if it takes some two years of time, right? some two years of time, it completely takes to completely finish up the full-fledged project. But the same solution, same project, if we start implementing in Pega, okay, so that might be completed full-fledged within six months. You can say six to eight months hardly. So that is a time factor that is actually varying between the uh, normal programming languages and Pega. Because the reason is the development time for building a Pega application is very less. But in terms of programming languages, it is very high and very uh, time taking because of this code, because of this writing the code, okay, with manual syntax and all, okay. So this takes a lot of time. But whereas here in Pega, we already have rules, 
we have a drag and drop uh, facility we have a configuration facility so with this robust structure of pega with with advanced features in pega we can develop any solution within 6 to 8 months where it takes 2 years of time <coughs> in other programming languages that can be done within very less time in pega so that is how the time factor it is time taking or you know development time is very less in pega but here takes lot of time to build an application using these plan <coughs> sorry so this is how it is and now coming to the other factor that is the flexibility so flexible to developer as most of the <coughs> development activities involved in drag and drop and configuration but here complex to developer to write <coughs> many lines of code and readability is less <coughs> so that is the difference actually so here in pega so if you want to write some code or if you want to read some existing code so we can i mean it is pretty easy uh, you know to uh, debug the things <coughs> because we can easily understand the code in pega once we uh, once there is some existing code which is already been written by some other developer and all so it's it's pretty easy to identify where is i mean what they're configuring configuring and you know where they are referring to view the references of the code to view the reusability okay so so all these things are pretty fine pega platform has this uh, <coughs> A robust architecture that it can make developer to feel flexible to develop any solution but in case of uh, other programming languages these features are not at all available where you have to write your own code and you have you are completely solely uh, responsible for your references you have to i mean even for the readability also it is you know if you want to analyze some other code i mean so it <coughs> takes a lot of time basically so that's how it increases the time again yes time also it's a factor here so that's how it is not completely flexible because a developer has to write the code manually so even to analyze uh, some other code it it is a bit complex to uh, understand the co-written by others as multi, many developers right uh, like you know developer in every developer is unique so you may write some piece of code and i may write in some way some piece of code that's how it is so and the third thing i mean, I mean the fourth thing is uh, resources okay so resources like let's say if a client is uh, if a client uh, is asking to develop a solution okay so 
for one of his uh, application. So he is asking for a web application first. So in this scenario, if you want to develop a web application, basically we will use java.net. Okay, we are building some web application using these two technologies. Okay, we are done with the 50% of the uh, development of the application. And then now the client comes and asks like, yes, I want uh, Android application also. <laughs> okay, now what, if, what they will do, they have to hire an Android developer there for developing the Android solution because Java developers, they, they are not familiar with the Android. So here you need another Android developers or and separate Android team for developing and monitoring the mobile application. Okay. So now the resource count increases for the client. Okay. Now, after some time, like maybe uh, after 70 to 80 percent of the web application is done, then again the client comes and says, I want iOS app. Okay. Now what? what uh, the client will ask is he wants an ios app and then he has to hire again for the ios developers and ios team so now here how many teams here for most one is for web application one team is for android and one team is for ios ios people cannot develop by android app and uh, android app android people cannot develop the ios app and even Java web application app is not, it's everything is unique. Like, you know, the, there are no um, multitasking that, that goes on. So this will increase a lot of time, first thing. And this also increases the complexity because you need to have a collaboration between the three teams. If you do something, if you have some, uh, there are some touch point, there are some integration point maybe so there are a lot of factors that <coughs> they have to collaborate and collaboratively work together for the three mobile uh, three uh, applications web mobile uh, i mean android and ios so this is the complexity and the other major complexity here is for the client not for the <coughs> developers but for the client is he has to hire three people I mean, three types of people, three teams, web application team, mobile Android application team, and iOS application team. So if the same application, if client asks for, I mean, to develop in Pega. So in this scenario, in Pega, the advantage is when we develop an application, when, <coughs> when we develop a Pega application, so that Pega application that we develop is normally a web application every time. In Pega, we will develop a web application. So once the web application is developed, so Pega has the beautiful feature of generating APK file and iOS file. So Pega will generate dot APK file for Android platform and dot iOS platform, I mean iOS file for iOS platform. So here you need not to write separate code for Android. You need not to write separate code for iOS. You need not to hire separate developers for iOS, Android. No, nothing is required. One Pega application that will generate different, different versions of platforms. So that is the beauty of Pega. Here you need not to go with the Android and the this and that, no, not required. Okay, develop once, yes, you can use it multiple times, multiple platforms. That is how the, you know, the beauty of Pega. So, Pega will generate .apk and .ios files one our web application is developed so this dot apk file and ios file we need to import it in the place and then you have to use it so here 
we need to hire java web developers android developers ios developers so this is how uh, in the difference major differences <laughs> So these are the major uh, differences that will actually, uh, you know, makes Pega more better, more, you know, kind of uh, flexible for the client and I mean for the customer and even for the developers. So even uh, if we compare uh, in terms of security, okay. Security is very high because you know one thing Pega is based on Java. So whatever that happens in Pega that, that goes through Java only. We have a JVM architecture, a complete J JDK, which has been inside Pega. Okay, so Pega is based on Java again. So whatever we do in Pega. So Pega will generate automatically at the back end at the runtime, a Java code is generated. So that is how it maintains the Java code at the back end. So we need not to write some code. Pega will automatically generate that code. Okay. So here in terms of security as we have java right so java is very secure very much secure and compared with any other platforms java has a very good security so as pega is based on java so java has a robust security as you know so that is how it is uh, pega is very secure in terms of security okay so even Java is also pretty much secure because Java is Java, right? And Pega has a feature called build for change. It is an amazing feature you can call it as. So build for change means, so it will provide a situational layer cake. Pega has a, uh, one of the beautiful features called situational layer cake, where, where to develop any application, we basically have layers, like organization layer, like division layer, like uh, unit layer, framework layer, implementation layers. So there is an enterprise class structure that that we normally design before developing an any application. Any application, we have to go through a ECS enterprise class structure. So there is also already a video that is made by me. That is my first video on enterprise class structure. So I will give you in the description. Then you can actually go through that. ECS if you have if you want to understand more on the uh, design part and uh, the layers you know the differences between the layers and what is uh, which layer act as what so to have keen understanding you I will share uh, the link in the description you can actually go through okay so that is the architecture that basically Pega has where uh you know it it supports the reusability it supports the inheritance it supports uh you know uh developing of the line i mean the line of business based on the departments or based on the domains you know like i i have an example like you know if you take example of tata uh, tata group right so tata group is basically tata is an enterprise so if you take tata is an enterprise so on top of it, we have a uh, division layer, enterprise layer. On top of the enterprise layer, we have division layer. So division is all about the department or the domain, which we are actually de developing the application for the client. So Tata has many domains, many uh, departments, like 
they have tata steel they have tata motors they have tata uh, life insurance like they have i mean and we do and they do have uh, tata um, steel so there are a lot of domains actually so that's how that uh, i mean when before you develop an application so we are going to uh, go through all these factors so data build for change is actually at the you know uh, once we develop any application using any normal programming language suppose if you want to change the flow i mean flow is uh, flow will not be there in the um, these programming languages but if you want to uh, you know change the way of the line of business okay there they uh, once uh, once the application is developed so there is a sudden change in the line of business there is some change some major change so if you do that change right if you do that change it may take a lot of time because you don't know where it will affect if you change the things and if you re it may it might cause a rework and all that is in terms of normal programming languages but in case of pega so it is built for change means like you can alter the flows if you we can alter the line of flow of execution we can alter the line of business based on your situations so you can change the situation layers you can change the uh, layers in between based on the requirement you can alter the flows of the business business flows based on your situations or based on your, based on the business demands so that is how uh, pega is you know it's famous for and and also even uh, the other beauty of pega is okay let's say if you have tata here right tata tata group so for tata group let's say we are developing some uh, insurance application for tata insurance so if you take tata insurance so tata insurance is basically in india and it is also in uk it is also in us it is also in some australia and all these countries okay so so uh, we thought that like insurance is common but the policies might be different by differ by country by country right so in india there might be some some other policies if you go to uk uh, their uh, insurance policies might be different their rules and regulations as per the government policy and all so it will it will vary if you go to australia it will vary if you, if you go to other countries so the business is not same here the business is not common so in this situation whatever the reusable things that are there we are going to place on the top layers and we are going to specialize by country we are going to specialize application by country so what happens is most of the parts are reused we will generate the code we will develop the code and put it in the uh layer on the top layer but by the country based on the country we are going to differentiate or specialize and we will do the specialization for the country by country whatever the business demands so based on the requirements we are going to specialize so this is how uh, pega will provide i mean pega uh, pega enterprise class structure comes into the picture but this is not not at all there in the programming languages like java or dotnet or whatever there is no such kind of feature available in this programming language so here the ecs gives a very robust architecture like you know once you start developing an application for any customer or client so he can expand his business there is a, a scope of scalability you know he, he can scale his application like anything he can take it forward even the next 20 years or next 15 years or next 30 years he can impose or he can add more on more applications as per his business needs as pega is scalable it can expand he can expand his uh, units he can expand his departments he can expand uh, you know his uh, specializations 
based on the common layer. Again, we need not to write the code. It will not take time to develop other applications. We can reuse from the uh, bottom of the enterprise layers. Enterprise, whatever the code that we develop and put it in the enterprise layer or division layers or whatever. So this code is reusable there instead of developing for every each and every specialization. So that is the beauty of Pega. That is how, uh, that is how, what the difference between the other programming languages and the Pega. So the reusability is very, very huge. And it is scalable. Pega is scalable and it is robust. <coughs> so that's how it is. We are going to prefer Pega for most of the applications, even in the banking applications, especially. Nowadays, the banks are actually looking for Pega because their business policies changes every time. They can expand their business anytime based on the demands. So that is how they are actually using Pega for a lot of business, I mean, banks they are using. So guys, that is the difference between Pega and the regular programming languages like Java, .NET, PHP, and all this. Hope you guys understand. And so guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And I expect the same support from you guys. If you have any queries or any questions, yeah, you can post it in the comments tab so that I can actually help you out with whatever I can. Take care, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye.